guys, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be returning to New York and reviewing Batman 2018 for the PS5 Remaster. If you guys haven't subscribed to my channel, you can hit that bell and be notified for whenever I post. And so you guys won't miss any of my new videos coming soon. This game is great. Honestly, when this game first came out, everyone was playing it. This game is phenomenal. I was amazed with how the graphics looked for Miles Morales, but the graphics in this one beyond better. Like I remember back in 2018 the graphics were good, but like now with the ray tracing and the PS5 adjustments, incredible. This game blew my mind. And what I enjoy about this game is that this game plays the Batman Arkham. Just remove Batman and replace them with Spider-Man. That's great. Everything from what you like about Arkham, they use the same, almost exact same formula and made this game and it's and it works great. Compared to Arkham, we have Batman has a utility belt with like 10 gadgets. Whereas in Spider-Man, you also get 10 gadgets of web shooter. This game is great. It's really well paced. You have to get props. You know, Insomniac did a really great job in making uh, their own interpretation of Arkham in the form of Spider-Man. Which makes sense. You know, Marvel's actual character is Spider-Man, so it made sense for having their first official PlayStation game to be with Spider-Man, and I think that it worked for having that kind of Arkham element. Because, well, if you play Batman Arkham and you went straight into the Spider-Man game, the controllers feel comfortable to you. If the only exception is that in Arkham, the counter is with Y, but here it's with O, and I think that's we are changed. But all else is the combat and the gameplay is pretty much identical and I think this game succeeds on that. What I liked about this game is that this game, the story is really well paced because just like in Arkham City, but there's that you can do like all the side missions at once or, or just play through the campaign and do the side the sideways afterwards. Spider-Man is the exact same thing. Like this, the map is of course Manhattan and the map is massive. There's a lot to do. Even if there's no story, there's still a lot to do because we have crimes in progress or we have to do an errand with Aunt May or just swinging around in, throughout New York to, to patrol. And along the way, you see some really amazing villains along the, your journey of this game. At the beginning of the game, when you first start out with your base gadgets and you play the game on normal and when you get to the disc tower, like, those are really challenging. Like when you get the two side objectives, it's getting pretty hard. But as you go through play the game, you gain more experience, you get upgraded, and when you return to those side missions and I doubt you get experience and though are way easy. So just like in Batman Arkham, this game has a learning curve of using different combos, different gadgets on defeating the villains in a safe way. Because just like Batman, Spider-Man is afraid of bullets. You have to play it smart and don't get shot at. Now this game has a lot of skins, a lot of costumes, and I think some of you that just for fan service because they have the Batman 2099, one of my favorite suits, and you have the MCU skins, Stark suit, and the Far From Home suit that Pierre did by himself, and it's great. There's also Ben Riley, a negative stealth suit, a dark suit, and of course you have one of the coolest suits in this game, and that is the anti dark arc max suit which when you get at the end of the game which looks great there are a lot of suits in this game that you won't get bored the only exception to the plethora of suits is that they didn't have the black symbiote suit available to you which makes sense because venom isn't attached to this game maybe in the sequel he will be in it so you probably get the symbiote suit in the sequel but as of now that suit is missing but all in all the suits are amazing like this game has 27 suits to choose from and you never get bored you even get the amazing suit and the Toby Maguire suit from the Sam Raimi films the story of this game is unbelievable and you know you know when you play this game you have a more experienced Spider-Man this isn't a year one scenario where Spider-Man is first starting out and you see all of these villains during the first year no this takes place when Spider-Man is in college, like in, 20, in his late 20s and early 30s. And I think that's great. You have an experienced Spider-Man who's been doing this. 
I mean, Vinny on this game is Mr. Negative, which is, I don't know what that is, but it's, I think he's a new Marvel Spider-Man Vinny. The way that how he is portraying this game is really cool with evil, with sinister. And along the way, you fight different villains, various villains. You fight Shocker, you fight Electro, you, you have an encounter with Rhino. You go through villains just like this. Like, the first villain you encounter when you start the game, is was in Fist the Kingpin and after that he transitions into Mr. Negative which is established as the main villain of the game. Now this game has a really emotional story with Pierce's relationship with Dr. Octavius. But at first he wants to help and change the world but along the way like he messes with technology and helps him set a path of him going going insane. His storyline is emotional because he Parker sees his friend, his mentor going dark into the brain's path and towards the end you have to fight him and for Peter like that's hard to do. So towards the third act it's your job to take each member of the Sister Six down in say New York. Throughout that transition of winning and winning and Villain. This game is stretched out. Uh, you can do side missions in between, and so you can't go villains fast. That's why video games work for having multiple villains because for video games you have the, the story that can be stretched out as much as possible and not feel crowded. Unlike having a oh, movie with main villains, you feel claustrophobic for a movie to have the exact same villains and not have a new breathing room. And just like the scene of, of Miles Morales, we finally get the introduction and backstory of Miles Morales in this game. His backstory is really well done. Like, you play as Miles Morales for, for a couple of side missions as well as you play with Mary Jane in a couple of side missions of hiding and dodging beyond enemy lines. Those missions can get a little bit tough. Unlike the Spider-Man Miles Morales, this game is can be played for hours and hours and hours. This game is really addictive. Now you cannot have a game without J. Tron or Jameson being a part of it. And the way that Insomniac delivers how JJ is portrayed is really awesome because the they made JJ into kind of like a talk show. A roast Spider-Man every chance he gets. So throughout the game while you're swinging or doing a part of the main game you hear JJ roasting you and like in JJ cause, and I think that's really well done I really enjoyed this game now I do have to mention that I played this the PS5 remaster and the remaster looks amazing if you enjoyed the original Spider-Man 2018 when it first came out the improvements of this game and the ray tracing the, what they did to it looks amazing Pierce Ace is kind of jarring to me at the point but you get used to it like towards the end of the game when you see Pierce's face with bruises like he works then like, yes it's bad yes the original face is bad but ray tracing of this game looks beautiful like you see the suit the different suits they vibrate more it's more HD and I think that the PS5 remaster it's really well done Close to my thoughts, I have to give this game a 9 out of 10. Even for the remaster, I'm giving this game a 90% of enjoyment. If you have a PlayStation and you don't have this game, start what you're doing and go buy this game. Because this has been one of the best superheroes game in our generation. Aside from Arkham, looking for the future sequels of this franchise. Because now I'm more excited for what Samia has to do next with, with the Spider-Man brand. But if you enjoy what I do, you can hit the subscribe button and bell to get notified for whenever I post. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.